If you hold a ceremony in the house of a known witch, you can expect exactly what's about to happen in this video. Published in February of 2022 by the channel Paranormal Point, evil came out of a mirror when this paranormal investigator prompted it to. He sees a shadow move in the mirror. Is someone in the room with him? Upon his arrival, he found these realistic candles already set up. He believes the witch was performing her ceremonies in front of this mirror. After he lights the candles, the nearby stool starts to take on a life of its own. But the real question is what is living in this mirror? Is it a demon? As the spirit box communicates, when the man stands in front of the mirror, he feels someone behind him. I'd wager it's the shadow figure we saw earlier in the corner. When you visit a place that's notoriously haunted, don't expect to be disappointed. Posted to YouTube by Corndictive, the uploader writes of this clip, Watch the very top window of the house. That flash didn't happen when we were taping this, and none of us know what it is. There were no cars out when this happened. The top window in question is that of the Glenmore Mansion. This clip necessitates a little background on this spooky place. As it turns out, many of the historical sites of Jefferson County, Tennessee are crazy haunted. Glenmore Mansion was built in 1799. It belonged to a family for a century and was later bought up by Mr. Milton Preston Jarnigan, who named the house after his first son who passed away as an infant. The home was in the Jarnigan family for a further century. Over the course of more than two centuries, passing in this old home were bound to occur, resulting in the haunting of these hallowed grounds. According to some legends, the house is like an Escher drawing in that the exterior windows are more in number than the interior windows. Others also suggest the home's height changes, although some say the mega mansion has 15 rooms across 5 stories, with other sites reporting there are 27 rooms. When the mansion falls dark, visitors claim there's a presence roaming around the home, but don't worry, the presence is benevolent. Some believe it to be the ghost of a local historian, Thomas Roach. When alive, Roach claimed that if ever a ghost was found there, it would be him. But one of the creepiest sightings happen outside the mansion altogether. A young girl is often seen walking along the estate's road at night in the darkness. From unexplained sounds to shadows in the mirrors, the mansion has had its fair share of ghastly ghosts. Tours of the home are routine, but once the lights are out and the house has been abandoned for the night, some say a light turns on in the attic. This Victorian gem of a house seems so perfectly cookie cutter that it's the perfect place for a haunting, and the unsettling nature of the home is confirmed by this video. The crew focuses in on an upstairs window where they see lights or a flash of white and something moving in inside. Can you spot it? Whether you believe in ghosts or not, you probably wouldn't want to be in Glenmore Mansion when the lights turned on. On May 11th, 2020, this boy in Texas walked up to his parents after collecting a bucket full of these strange creatures. He was using a small plastic toy shovel. Had he used his hands, he might not have survived. If you ever see one of these strange sea creatures washed up on the beach, don't ever try to pick it up. They're called blue dragons, and as the name in bright blue colors should warn you, their toxic wrath will mess you up quick. Sometimes. I say sometimes because grabbing one leaves a 50-50 chance of you writhing in the worst pain of your life, worse than a giant jellyfish or even a stingray, or you won't feel anything at all. That's because these sea slugs feed on much larger venomous prey like jellyfish. They take the venom of their prey and store it to be used against larger threats like us, for example. Their supercharged sting feels like the wrath of a dragon as a result, and how much damage it does to humans depends on how recently they feasted. Blue dragons have been known to wash ashore in 
cause major problems for anyone unfortunate enough to walk through a patch of them like this one. They also float upside down and can be easy for swimmers to miss in the shimmering sea until it's too late and they are burning all over. A group of them are called a blue fleet. If accidentally brushing up against a single one is worse than a school of jellyfish, imagine how a whole fleet would feel. The science world acknowledges this creature has enough venom to potentially end your life, and if that possibility doesn't make them one of the scariest things you can find at the beach, I don't know what does. No actual cases like that have been documented yet, so stay far away from them and you won't be the first. Uncanny videos without explanations are often creepy in their own right, but this one takes it to a whole new level. Posted to YouTube by Gugun Reaper in October of 2016, the video is titled, What Are You Thinking? Deep Web Video. Soon it will have you asking yourself that very question. The clip shows someone in a black trash bag with a white cloth tied over his head. The thing coughs a few times, looking super sad and terribly creepy. At one point it lifts its hands to its mouth and suddenly its mouth is flooded red. It's unclear what is happening. Is this thing coughing up red liquid? Fernando Costa suggests in the comments. He was starting to hick it all up slowly then blam. Bile and everything all finally came up. In the end the thing holds a piece of paper with writing on it. You can see through the paper. And though he's holding it upside down, it reads, What are you thinking after watching this video? All it's doing for me is creeping me out. Ethan Menard and his friend are out exploring when they find a long tunnel that gives off a creepy vibe when they are commenting on how dark the tunnel is and just trying to keep calm in general when suddenly a small child's voice chimes in somewhere behind them. It's like pitch black in here. The timing of this creepy small voice is quite a curious and morbid coincidence. It simply says hello at just the right moment during a pause in their conversation. It's like pitch black in here. Whether this was real or edited is up for you to decide, but I think there is a strong chance that something paranormal was down there. Okay, so this isn't a video per se, but it was too eerie to pass up. This was recorded around 10 years ago in a home in Philadelphia. The family kept hearing noises coming from the basement, so they decided to hire a paranormal team who placed a recorder down there and waited. Nothing happened for three days, and then, at at 3.12 a.m., they recorded this. The horrible recording continues to go on and on, seemingly forever. No video evidence was ever produced, but these possibly paranormal screams will continue to live on YouTube for years to come. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3am could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost moved the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and will be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. This deer appears to have a massive growth that has taken over the entire right side of its head. I was thinking that this could possibly even be exposed brain, but I doubt it would still be alive if that were truly the case. Either way, the deer appears to be very much alert and not in a vegetative state, which suggests that this is just a growth. But then again, maybe it's going through the early stages of CWD and still has some brain function. The quiet wild animal seems to be completely unafraid of the camera and makes no attempts to get away. Based on its lack of a reaction, I would say this specimen is halfway through becoming an actual zombie deer. This YouTuber is trapped.
The hungry beast shreds his backpack and smells more supplies up this tree. All it needs to do is get through this pesky human first. Hey there. Down there. Amazingly, the bear does as told and goes back down upon the hunter's request. I guess seeing a human talk up close like that must have freaked it out because the animal runs away. Before chancing a look back at the backpack laying on the ground and deciding against it, of all the weird things I've ever seen caught on camera in the woods, this has to be one of the weirdest and scariest videos ever because there's no doubt it's absolutely real. Point Lookout State Park in Maryland has everything from haunted prisons to large cemeteries, all historically preserved but otherwise seldomly visited and practically abandoned. This is one of the most haunted places in the world if you ask a YouTuber named Fixed Image, a man who comes here to try and communicate with spirits quite often. This place has always given him a paranormal feeling that he has trouble putting into words. Usually he does little more than scare himself in the woods, but July 31st of 2018 is the day he makes clear and deliberate contact with the other side. He faces the Cheapskate Bay on a cloudy day and tries to force a ghost sighting on camera like always. I'm alive. I'm a human. Speak now into this device when I'm silent, if you haven't already said anything. So I know you're here. So when I come back here next time, I can help you. 5 minutes and 11 seconds is when he notices something strange and unusual behind him. He knows this area quite well by now and knows that cabins are not open to the public and should be latched shut. It's a little creepy to be honest. Today one of the doors is open, possibly because of what he said. He wants to investigate further but a sense of paranoia grows with each step. He felt watched from this cabin last time he explored here. With the door now open, the terror he feels is twice as great. I just feel isolated, like anything that's in this area is right here watching me. Yeah, I'm not going in any of these places. I, I can't right now. He has an internal struggle with himself for two full minutes trying to find the courage needed to go to the cabin and take a look inside. He has conducted so many paranormal investigations here before, and now that something has finally happened, he finds himself too scared to get the paranormal evidence he needs to be taken seriously as a ghost hunter. But that's not how he wants to end this video. He knows he can't go out like that, so he takes a deep breath and marches back to a place that frightened him so badly before. This time the paranoia returns twice as strong and he is struck by a heaviness in the limbs as if the very presence of something dreadful is weighing him down. That's when I just, I feel so heavy. And I feel like I have to look all around me every second. I feel like there's something behind me, and then when I look behind there's something in front of me. The closer he gets to the building with the open door, the heavier his limbs feel. He is so off balance by the time he gets there that he worries he will not be able to run away. He is too afraid to even look in the direction of the cabin, but soon he is forced to. The doors are shut. The doors are shut. The doors are shut. I'm not even kidding. He puts a sound effect over the video, but you can still hear the door close by itself if you listen at 18 minutes and 53 seconds. Oh! Anyway, he feels normal again as soon as the door shuts and is able to sprint away. There's nobody in the parking lot and no sounds or signs of a cleaning crew inside, so I agree that a ghost could have slammed that door shut. Do you have the cojones to dance with the devil? Published by Devil's Hours Production in May of 2021, this scary video sees one paranormal investigator playing around with Beezlebub. Originally filmed in March of 2013, the crew gets a spike on the Melmeter after one of them asks the spirits to make their presence known. Can you make your presence known?
just so you know, Matt, uh, we're getting a 0.1 spike on the mel meter right now. As they continue onward, the meter rises and rises and rises some more. When they specifically ask the spirit to raise the meter, it does. 0.1, 1.2, 1.3. Is that you speaking to this device right here? I heard another one. Is that you speaking to this device right here? I heard another voice. Oh, that could have been car. Hold on. They continue walking when they suddenly hear a girl giggling. The girl remains with them, and she makes her presence known. Who's caught on here? Seven. Point six. I just heard a little girl. Point six. If you go up to that antenna right now, and you touch it, it will go off, and that's how we can know that it's you. The pair capture the creepy image on camera. It looks very much like a small girl, and later they hear a demonic hissing noise. Is this the soul of a little girl? Or is it the devil pretending? <laughs> Humans aren't the only beings with the apparent ability to teleport. Published by The Buzz in January of 2015, this mysterious video appears to show a canine teleportation. The video, filmed during a street race on an empty motorway in Chile, shows a dog suddenly materializing out of nowhere. In the clip, two cars speed down the track as the camera swings after them. Following the race, a dog suddenly appears in their wake, crossing the road. In slow motion, the dog appears out of thin air in the middle of the road, somehow avoiding the two cars, neither of which budge at all in their straight shot down the track. Did this dog teleport here as many in the comments seem to believe? Whether or not he did, I think Pog Squatch sums up our sentiment. Scotty needs to be more careful when he beams you down. That was too close for comfort. James Parr records his young nephew as he shrieks at something he sees on the wall. This continues for quite some time. It's hard to tell what the child is thinking, but it seems like a combination of nervousness and excitement. More than once, he appears to back away, as if he is fearful of something that is nearby. The child does seem to be completely fascinated by an otherwise blank wall, which is strange. But I am not so sure that this video is paranormal. The kid may just be playing games with his own shadow. What do you think is going on here? Baby monitors sometimes capture that which we don't even know is there. This creepy clip was posted to r slash ghosts by zealous ideal call 53. It shows a monitor placed in a child's bedroom. The baby is playing while her guardian appears to be on her phone. All is normal until you turn up the sound. A growl of a voice snarls help me three times in a row at the beginning of the video. Neither the baby nor the young woman in the video appears to hear the voice. Is it crossed wires with a nearby baby monitor? Did someone hack the monitor's sound? Or is it an EVP capturing someone beyond crying out for help? The Redditor explains in the comments that this isn't the only strange occurrence in their house, and that paranormal events have regularly been happening since she was pregnant. The Redditor writes, We've had another incident with her nanny cam and seeing a black shadow near her, an orb, and her suddenly waking up screaming. I've had issues in my own room with the feeling of someone watching me, breathing on my neck, severe night terrors, and missing items that suddenly return. Does this give more credence to the presence of a paranormal entity? My answer is yes.
Move over, Cujo. This real life pet cemetery is even scarier than the book. Posted to YouTuber by Adventures with Christian in October of 2018, the uploader provides a bit of historical background to the scene of this haunting video. According to him, this unofficial pet cemetery in Boulder City is the most haunted in the world. Why? He writes, Many people claim that there are mafia victims secretly buried there, other than the names on the headstones, which may have faded away. There is no record of the animals buried there. The YouTuber visits the pet cemetery at night, when it's at its creepiest. At the entrance is a sign noting that pet burials are prohibited there. According to him, the pet cemetery opened in 1931, located 20 miles from Vegas. It's potentially a mobster's paradise. In the 25-minute video, Christian explores the graveyard, looking for all elusive ghosts of animals and people alike. About 20 minutes in, he comes across a dugout grave. You can see the corner of a wooden coffin inside. About 22 minutes in, he hears something in the cemetery, although what it is isn't caught on camera. What in the world? What? 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 Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm done. He says he's done and hightails it out of there. The camera then captures a hooded man walking past, right in the line of the flashlight, prompting him to really hurry. It's later revealed that the cameraman was just a character, but that doesn't make this place any less creepy. Currently, pets are laid to rest in this cemetery, including that of the famous film star dog Rin Tin Tin. If you'd like to lay flowers on his grave, this video is a cautionary tale. Don't do it at night. So there's a YouTube channel called EB30X Fitness. 34 videos, one year old account. Not exactly the first place you'd go looking for paranormal content, but there's one creepy workout video they can't explain. Five, six, seven. Did anybody see that orb fly behind Karen? Anybody see that orb? A wavy light goes over his client, and he puts everything on hold to point it out. Honestly, it looks like a bug to me. He says it's a ghost caught on film though. I don't think they're doing this for publicity. It has less than a thousand views in their fitness studio Facebook page in Illinois. Already has 300,000 followers, so I think he's being sincere when he says it's a ghost orb. What do you think about this paranormal activity? It's pretty creepy, but like I said, Maybe a bug. This giant sky disturbance over Japan was captured on multiple cameras in 2013, so there's little doubt that it is real. The question then becomes not if this happened, but rather what caused it. I think that this was most likely a comet, but others claim this is clearly a failed Russian rocket launch or even a UFO. Watch this part and you can see how the comet becomes very bright as it hits Earth's atmosphere and then fizzles out quickly. At the same time, I can definitely see how people would think this was a UFO blasting into deep space or a rocket disintegrating. It does seem to kind of disappear without warning, so let me know which of these three possibilities you think it was. Visit Louisiana and you might just run into a gator or two, or maybe a thousand. Published in January of 2011, Marvin Carter writes, This is something you just don't see every day. Carter says this video was sent to him from the mouth of the Mississippi by one of his friends. What you're about to see will make your skin crawl. At first, the river looks normal with dozens of rocks jutting out of it, but when the camera zooms in, you realize those aren't rocks. Then even more horrifyingly, this little speedboat starts its journey through the sea of alligators.
they're all moving about, but the good news is, it looks like they're just trying to get out of the way, not start trouble. While many in the comments agree that this is terrifying, most also suggest that gators generally don't mess with you. Still, this scary video desperately needs an explanation, and commenter canoeing the edge of the world seems to have one. He writes, For some reason, alligators just decide every once in a while to have a little get together, and they bring the whole family. I think I'll skip this reunion. What is lurking in the mountains of Montana? Published by Smokey Robinson in September of 2021. He and his army buddy were outside Browning, Montana when they encountered this piece of work. What begins as a man starts to appear demonic. At the start of the clip, the figure is roaring unintelligibly. Buddy! Hey, how you doing? Oh! oh. Just some cruisers, man! He appears to be shirtless and wearing jeans. The figure then starts crawling half deranged on the ground toward them. It crawls up a hill. The closer it gets, the more inhuman it looks. Just as the demon man reaches the road, the two men drive off in their pickup. Commenters are saying this is 100% demonic, and this creature gives them goosebumps. Some say the figure's face distorted and its appendages stretched as it started to crawl. Drex Ferguson writes, This is the video I send people when they ask me to go camping, hiking, basically anything that involves woods. Some are calling it a zombie. Some are saying it's a human being taken over by something. What do you think it is? It's crawling at me like it's What's up, dude? These men tried all means to rid their friend of a demonic possession, published by Cacadores das Sombras, which translates to Shadow Hunters in April of 2021. The crew sets out on a mission to complete a satanic ritual. As the guys are driving down a dirt road in a rural area, they pass a guy walking on the side of the road. It turns out that it's their friend Lucas. Oh, Lucas. They slow to a stop shortly after and the driver has his door open. Bad idea. Lucas lunges into the car at him and attempts to grab him. He seems possessed. They tie him up and throw him into their back seat. When they arrive at their destination, they find a pentagram with candles lit at all the points. They place the man into the middle of the pentagram and it seems he can't escape it. He is whipping around out of control but still lucid at times. They light one last candle on one of the pentagram's points. Lucas is later kneeling, growling, and bent forehead to the floor at the center of the pentagram. Hey, hey, hey. Is this going to come out, boy? He appears in a fit of some sort. After a while, the man holding the camera loses his patience with the possessed man. It doesn't meet its mark. One of the crew calms the cameraman outside, and a ruckus is heard inside shortly after. They return to find Lucas lying sideways on the ground, still at the center of the pentagram. What happened to him? Did the ritual work? Although he continued to remain still and silent at the end of the video, I hope he is free from his possession. A YouTuber named Jack Torrance says that he found this old VHS tape at a yard sale. Most of it is just a man walking through the forest while holding a stick for protection. There's very little sound except for footsteps and his labored breathing as he hikes onward. Later, night falls and the man is still going forward at a decent pace, maybe even faster than before. He appears disoriented and swings the camera wildly as he travels, almost like he has lost his way and is now panicking. Then something makes him abruptly stop.
It's hard to tell for sure, but it looks like some kind of green sack on the ground. Then it's pulled by a yellow string across the forest floor. When the cameraman looks up, he finds only darkness. It seems like whoever filmed this was alone the entire video, so I have no idea what was on the ground or, more importantly, who was pulling it away. Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them. Its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair. Or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. A chef and his apprentice rummage around the kitchen to do some last minute prep work before opening. One of them undoes the plastic ties from all of the bread and then takes a few steps away. Moments later, he looks over only to see a single remaining piece of bread raise itself in the air and land in the corner with a smack. He tries to explain what happened to a co-worker. As he examines the bread for anything wrong, finding nothing, I was waiting for it to jump back out after he throws it away, but I guess it's done moving for now. Everybody probably thought he was going crazy, and maybe he did too, until they checked out this haunting video for themselves and posted it online. A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy, a dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror. Considering he has editing software, I think this could possibly be photoshopped. But if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. What is the number one destination to dispose of an object that's ended a life? In a river, of course. Posted to TikTok by Julian Stevens. This scary video leaves us wondering if that's exactly what happened here. The TikToker spotted a blade at the bottom of the waterway. Zooming in, you can see it's clearly a large kitchen blade. Zooming out again, you can see it's clearly in the middle of a creepy wooded area. Many in the comments suggest calling the cops. That seems like a fair assessment to me. A YouTuber named Michael JP86 is recording a cemetery late at night to see if anything strange will happen. Sure enough, a mysterious light materializes in the distance. What is that? That car stopped over there? At first, they suspect it could be the headlights of oncoming traffic, but when no vehicles drive by, they realize, much to their horror, that the light is actually coming from within the cemetery itself. According to Michael JP86, the rectangular shape shown here is actually a doorway made of pure light. Watch again in slow motion, and you'll see a small figure run into the doorway moments before the light fades away. If this isn't paranormal, then let me know what you think caused the light to appear, and also what the shadow running into it was. A Pasco, Washington couple wants to get really scared, so together they concentrate deeply on finding a human through the Randonautica app, which takes them to a random dumpster on a hot summer day. They peel back the lid and find a single trash bag that looks full. By now, they are sufficiently terrified that they might have actually found something disturbing with Randonautica, and so they close the lid without exploring what's inside. After all, there's no need to call the police if you don't actually see anything. A group of ghost hunters called PXTV go deep in the Wombwell Woods, a haunted forest in the UK where many people sadly go to take their lives. They split up to cover maximum ground and one of them, Steve, finds a spot he deems suitable to begin an EVP session, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. He sets up his EVP box and asks any spirits nearby to make a light go on. When it does, he asks for two lights, but gets this verbal warning instead. Can you make two lights light up? Ovilus has just said run. But something descends upon Steve before he gets a chance to do as told. 
I didn't exactly see anything, but Steve says that he was pushed out of the way by something nearby. And when he looks at his EVP box, the translator displays the word RUN written in all capitals. I'm not sure if there's any way to tamper with these devices and make them say pre-programmed messages or not, but assuming this video really is unaltered, then the evidence is all right there to see. This footage, published by Paranormal World in August of 2019, shows a scenic mountain and forest opposite an overpass after completing a full 360 to take it all in. The camera falls to the cars whizzing past below before returning to the mountain. This time, the mountain isn't the only thing carving out the sky. A Godzilla-like creature peeks out from behind the mountain. At first, one might mistake it for the mountain itself, but it slowly begins to move, voiding that theory. While many in the comments say this is a good edit, some are more concerned by the man's reaction. YouTuber Dap writes, if there is a Godzilla, you are running, not chewing gum. That's probably true, although other people note that the creature is friendly, so perhaps the cameraman had no need to fear him. Still, seeing a creature the size of a mountain would probably get your heart pumping, friendly or not. Derek Desso Daly finds himself in a darkened cemetery on a 24-hour challenge with some friends. There's only some basic snacks and a small flashlight to split between the three of them, but they feel confident nothing serious will happen. Derek barely gets into the cemetery, and already he hears strange sounds that I don't think can easily be faked. I know that I don't see anything past this room. Oh, what's that sound? Hey man, there's somebody walking right there, bro. Where? Derek claims to see someone off in the distance, though I personally don't see anything. Still, he turns off his flashlight and quietly walks away to avoid detection. Other than that, nothing else happens until around 3 a.m., at which point the strange sounds return, even louder this time. Board, yeah. yeah, we have a Ouija board and we have a. Oh, yo, yo. They start playing with the homemade Ouija board and think they see something move in the trees. Then they think they hear footsteps. It's hard to say if they are just being paranoid or really experiencing something paranormal since nothing special is caught on camera. Later though, when they begin chanting a spell to speak with any nearby spirits, I can definitely hear what they are talking about. Eventually, one of them gets separated from the group and is covered in red when he returns. He claims to have fallen, but something about his story sounds off. Ah, what happened? Something fell. Something falling on its own seems quite unlikely, making the claim of paranormal activity even more plausible. It's 2.10 a.m. on September of 2015. This individual is fast asleep in their bed, as anyone might expect to be at such a late hour. Posted to YouTube by the Gender Uwo in April of 2019, the video shows a man tossing and turning in his sleep, normal restlessness. At one point, he pulls the covers up over his head. A short while later, he turns onto his side. All normal, but what's abnormal is the body shape that appears to be sleeping next to him. After rolling to his side, the man notices the unwelcome company under the covers. He starts feeling what looks to be a solid form beside him. Appearing startled, he gets out from under the covers, patting the blanket up and down before pulling it clean off his bed. As you likely suspected, there is nothing beneath it. Further footage in the man's apartment shows a strange blurred shadow figure cross from a hallway to another room in the home. The same sort of shadow figure is seen again in the footage from another hallway in the apartment. What do you think? Is it time to move? Probably should just in case. Don't know about you, but I'd do whatever was in my power to avoid sharing my bed with an unwelcome ghost. A Russian YouTuber plays Russian roulette with poltergeists in this paranormal footage. Published to YouTube by Dark Ghost in March of 2021, this poltergeist activity was captured by cameras installed in the haunted home, as well as cameras operated by the ghost hunter who was brave enough to enter. 
The first instance of paranormal activity comes when a camera that he installed in one room captures a cupboard being moved on its own. It scrapes across the floor and comes to a halt in the middle of the room. And after hearing the noise, the ghost hunter enters to see for himself. The room appears empty, but he soon realizes it's not. An entire wardrobe nearly falls directly on him. There is no space behind the wardrobe for someone to have stood and pushed it over. So what caused this heavy furniture to fall? In a state of shock, having barely escaped with his life, the ghost hunter sets up his spirit box to talk with the spirit. It asks him clear as day who he is and why he's here. The spirit tells him that it is dangerous. When he asks what is, she says his occupation. The spirit tells him that the souls of the passed away have heard him. She also notes that they're not all good ones. After a while, she refuses to answer any more questions. When the ghost hunter returns to the room where the cupboard moved and the wardrobe nearly took his life, everything has returned to its place. As he settles in for the night, somehow catching some shut-eye while stretched out on wooden chairs, a spot of light bursts above him, and he springs to his feet. He said that at that point he felt a bitter cold. Once you've nearly had your life taken and feel the temperature drop, it's probably time to pack it in and call it a night. With two Barbie dolls in her hands, this little girl is as happy as can be. Her family is recording what should be a loving memory for them to watch over and over again with glee. Instead, if any of them ever watch this video again, it will be in sheer horror. The girl is in the middle of an improvised skit when her father calls something out to her. I think he is telling her to come eat dinner or something like that. Based on what happens next, it looks like the girl wasn't the only one who was listening. Sarah, we come in. As soon as the girl says something to the effect of not right now, the Barbie snaps her head back and gives her a glare. Maybe the doll doesn't appreciate the disrespect towards her father, or maybe it's done being played with for right now. Either way, the girl throws both dolls into the air and runs away. Of course, this could be a fake video, but I'm not sure how you would make the doll's head turn like that. For one thing, the girl's hand isn't anywhere near the doll's head, and for another, you can see by looking at the doll's hair that no string has been tied around its head. Most people in the comments of this video think that it's real. Published to YouTube by In Jamaica in August of 2017, this big almost catch occurred at the Hellshire Bridge. The camera approaches a large gathering of onlookers surrounding the bridge in question, where cars have pulled to the side of the road to watch the big event. Two young men have managed to nab the croc by the snout using a length of rope. The crowd cheers as the crocodile thrashes about and soon escapes his captors. They try again, throwing the rope into the murky water. After a few failed attempts to recapture it, they give up and the crowd disperses. Many in the comments below blame the lack of catch on the crowd, saying they're making too much noise and scaring the croc away. Perhaps they're right, but if you knew this monster was lurking below, could you suppress your fear? This old house is allegedly haunted by the angry spirit of a previous inhabitant. Watch what happens in the dark basement shortly after a ghost hunter named Lilil Show sets up a camera and leaves. As soon as the lights turn off and the door shuts, an abnormal amount of orbs dance all around the camera, which then tips over. I think this is more than a coincidence because it happens within five seconds of his exit. Something down there obviously doesn't want to be filmed. The angry spirit resists all attempts to communicate. Here it swats an electrometer used to detect paranormal disturbances in the air. Between this and the camera falling over, I think the spirit wants to be left alone, and I think it's probably best to respect its privacy before it gets any more insistent. In Toy Story, the toys come to life in a charming manner when the kids are away, but when it happens in this video, it's more chilling than charming. 
Originally posted to TikTok by Oscar Furlan, the video shows a Woody doll standing upright on the kitchen counter with one hand on a can. Noticing that a human person has entered, the doll glances over at him before dropping his hand, going stiff like a board, and falling over backwards into the kitchen sink. Although it truly does look eerily real, some claim it's an animation, while Redditor Anna Cabana says the dolls are designed to fall over in this manner when hearing the phrase, someone's coming. Regardless of whether it's an animation or the toy's design, I think we can all agree with Mythical Gamer 9 who writes, Eh, it looks a bit too real, still very creepy, definitely not a toy on my wish list. Got insomnia? This scary video won't help. Published by Little Genius in February of 2022, the following footage was captured while this poor soul was sleeping, or trying to. Slowly, the blankets are pulled down from the man's shoulders. He pulls them back up, but it happens again, and then a third time. But this doesn't seem to get the sleeping man's attention. A water bottle balanced on his headboard falls onto the bed. He replaces it and continues to sleep, but the bottle soon wobbles to the side and falls again. Next, a chair with a teddy bear slides forward on its own. Moments later, it scoots forward even more. It then tips backward, falling onto the floor and finally waking the man up. What entity is interfering with this guy's sleep? Whoever it is, it succeeded. This man will never sleep again. Two friends use face swab for a laugh, but it turns into a scare instead that leaves one of them speechless. <laughs> <laughs> this video is really creepy because there's absolutely nothing but total darkness behind him. Certainly nothing for the app to have mistaken for a face. The face behind him doesn't look anything like his own. It's a pale apparition with no eyes and no smile. Freaky, right? Two friends are riding down the Karela Highway in India when they see what they later agree has to have been a ghost of some kind. <laughs> the figure is dressed in pure white and holding something, maybe a flashlight. Creepiest of all is how they seem to be deeply staring into the darkness at something. They are in such a deep state of concentration that they don't even look up when the car zooms by just a few feet away. They remain frozen in place and seem to be holding their face in surprise. If this is a ghost, then they could have been looking at the roadside remains of their own body. These residents captured an actual witch on camera hovering right in their driveway. Shared by YouTuber Mattisy ENT, the footage was taken at around 3 in the morning. Watch closely above the vehicle. Baby. Baby, come on, see. Baby, baby. The mysterious being drifts for a moment, and all you can see is its glowing eyes and wild hair, and then it does this. Whether this was a witch or not, I think it was important to run away. My advice to this YouTuber would be to put as much space between you and this thing as possible. It's 3am, and something is terrifying YouTuber Mo Sarji at this haunted cabin in the woods. Let's see what it is. Mo seems to be sensing a spirit around them. Is it weird that my ears, my left ear is ringing like crazy right now? Well, they say that's a sign of 
spirit around you. Then they see a light in a nearby building. It shouldn't be on. There you go. You can see that the light in the mill is on right now. That should be off. Holy shit. There's something causing it to stay on. A moment later, this happens. Which is Oh, 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 I just seen it. What the f dude? Dude. I got it on camera, did you? Yeah. It's motion activated, so something must be inside. They arrive at this creepy haunted cabin, isolated in the middle of the woods. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, nice. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's I it. So. Whoa, it's even creepier at nighttime. As soon as they're near it, they get a reading on their K2. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we got something here. Let's go inside and check this out. Once inside, they discover something horrifying. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking the shack itself isn't what's haunted. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking someone who ever nailed the roof in here, or the wood, did some type of black magic. Like, put a type of nail in here. Is most theory correct? Is this a dark magic shack? From the outside, looking in, it appears so. It's not here now. Oh, wait, it's back. Yeah, right. No, on, on the other side. Jesus. Yeah, there's big bugs out there. <laughs> so it's, many. it's gone now. Now it's mapping out antelope. When the team asks the spirit if it's there, it responds via REM pod. John, is that you? I'm feeling very fatigued all of a sudden. Mm. That went to green. It's amazing how this is responding to the comments you guys are making. Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, John, is that you? And it, again. Sean is here. I do believe the team is being followed by something. But is it Sean? It could be anyone. What is up? We are back. And right now we just hit a uh, random, abandoned, haunted, like really haunted house apparently. Uh, New Hope PA is well known for a lot of abandoned, maybe haunted paranormal sites. All right guys, so like I said before, we are exploring a really haunted house in a really haunted town. Apparently, I don't know the exact story on it, but Tim, what was it? People left because this house for being so like haunted or like paranormal, yeah. stuff like that. Kyle McGran goes exploring upstairs and while filming random rooms, a person briefly appears in the mirror. It could have been one of his friends, but this person is covered in darkness despite standing in an area that's well lit. At the other end of the house is a small boarded up attic that fills them with dread upon entering. Bro, this room is creepy. Literally left a lot of stuff. Shoes. Yo, the movie is called Without a Trace. I know it was a 90s movie, but finding a videotape called Without a Trace in the middle of an attic of an abandoned house where the family mysteriously disappeared is not a good sign. Nor is anything that's stained red. Yo, know, it's red in there. Oh my god. Some sort of scary voice is caught on tape, one belonging to a ghost or a demon that none of them seem to hear at the time. They go downstairs into an old creepy basement that makes them feel so overwhelmed with fear that they only make it one step further before they turn around. Something tells me this is where the family still is. It seemed that whatever haunted this family has only grown stronger over time and drives Kyle's group away in less than 10 minutes. A CCTV video captures an ill-mannered apparition as it ravages a store just 20 minutes shy of 3 a.m. It slinks across the far wall first, knocking two items off the opposite shelf as it moves down the aisle. To be honest though, the way this object on the top shelf gets caught at 13 seconds looks like it could be pulled by a string. Next, the shadow somehow passes across the aisle without appearing in the glass or the bright reflection on the floor. A minute later, the door to the cooler shakes hard enough to rattle the glass in its pane. Camera 7 shows the outside of the cooler, and camera 8 shows the inside. Nobody is anywhere nearby, or in the entire store for the matter, and yet the door shakes uncontrollably. 
I think this could be a real poltergeist because of one simple fact. This door is airtight to keep the drinks cold. It has no knob to grab onto. It must be opened with a button on the wall. Therefore, I don't think somebody could have made it shake like this, even if they stood on the other side and tried. YouTuber Hype Mike and his crew completed the 3 a.m. challenge, which he says changed their lives forever. Let's see how. Part of the challenge involves banging pots and pans together. Two. One. Oh, what the f no, no! Yo, 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 yo. What happened? That's Matt. No, me too. That I'm not even doing it. After splitting up, they're in the cellar where a chair starts rocking on its own, and then they hear a scream. Okay, we're solid. Oh god, I have my watch. What the f is that? Shh. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. We'll get there. What are we gonna do? They come out of their hiding spot and find one of the crew's flashlights abandoned on the floor. Someone's flashlight. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hello? Hello? Shh. Then they hear something on the stairs. Under the table. Under the table. What is this figure? They watch and listen in horror as the thing moves around. Shut Later, they spot the figure down a hallway. They realize it's not their friend, and in the end, they nearly get stuck inside this home forever. Dude, it's coming. From which way? The stairs. The stairs. The stairs. stairs. Okay. okay. Like, away from it. Get away try, from try it. Away window, from it. Windows. Yeah. 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 Windows. windows, windows there's windows. nothing. Um, no, I'm telling there's another exit over here, bro. What was that figure? Was it the devil? 3 a.m. is the devil's hour, so I'd put my money on it. And it's no wonder that these guys' lives have been forever changed. I don't think I'd ever sleep again. I need to include this video because I've never come across a paranormal video before with such an even split between people saying that it's absolutely fake and so obviously real. <laughs> Some people are certain that this is the legitimate ghost of a child, and others are sure that this is special effects, light reflections, and a plastic bag, and a host of other non-paranormal explanations. As for me, I think that I probably would have noticed something that large moving out of the corner of my eye, so I think it could be fake. But then again, I can't say for sure unless I was there myself. Maybe the camera recorded something that was not discernible by the naked eye. When you venture onto the grounds of a former battlefield, take note, it's likely haunted. The YouTuber explains that he and his family were vacationing in Washington, D.C. when they visited the Manassas battlefield. The battle resulted in a large number of passings. Needless to say, this is a place worth haunting, and apparently this YouTuber has got the goods. He writes, We videotaped there, and later that day we were watching the tape and we noticed the woman, dressed in white, walking along the fence line. There were no reenactments going on that day, and we didn't see her there. They note that the ghost is walking away from the graves of Mrs. Henry, her daughter, and her son and into a field near the black fence to the left of the house. The Henry House stands on the plateau of the hill on which the battle took place. Judith Carter Henry was bedridden and couldn't leave the house at the time of the battle. A projectile burst through the bedroom wall and took her life. Could this lady in white be Judith? You decide. A YouTuber named Seg goes into the woods and finds an old rotten house. He and his friends feel something watching them nearby and they both run away. 
As they are checking out the raw video a few minutes later to see what it was, the strange orange circle pays them a visit and hangs around the corner of the shot. Wait, did I get it? Would you go watch your footage back? To be perfectly honest, this looks like it is almost definitely the cameraman's thumb. But Sake says the orange light is way too bright to be anything but the supernatural. He says that this is the only source of light, and therefore something behind the light should not be brighter than everything else in the shot. I'm not sure if I buy this theory, so I wanted to run it by you. Is this a ghostly presence or a ghost investigator's thumb? This toy is apparently possessed by a spirit who wants to imitate whatever its living counterpart does. Here you can see the toddler sitting on a toy truck, so the spirit decides to do the same. All around that toy. There it goes again, there it goes again. Yep, there it goes again, there it goes again. Orbs dance all around the yellow toy truck as its wheels slowly creep forward, almost unnoticeable at times. At one point, a larger orb seems to trace the outline of the truck itself in a zigzagging pattern. And maybe it's just me, but it looks like the child notices something too. I'm pretty convinced that this is a real paranormal counterpart, but I'm definitely open to other logical explanations, so be sure to tell me what you think is happening here. When you find a suitcase with a pentagram inside, you should probably let it be. Published by Paranormal Point in February of 2022, while looking at this mysterious collection, Maxim doesn't realize he's standing alongside evil. Oh, yo. Друзья, не, не ошибаюсь. Это же вроде пентаграмма. Soon, the door closes at the end of the hall, and he can't open it. After he lights the pentagram, things only get stranger from there. When he asks who's there, this is the response. And soon, the demon isn't answering any more questions. What is in this basement with Maxim? And will it let him out? There's a poltergeist to foot in this abandoned house. YouTuber Paranormal Mai investigates, and he soon discovers why the home has been abandoned. The falling of the tray at the beginning would have been enough to send me packing, but the chair slamming sideways at the end has me absolutely convinced that there's something here that doesn't want us here. I think we should show ourselves out. A creepy video is freaking out fans of a celebrity in India named Rhea Chakraborty. She's like in the hotel room she's been staying to living in a horror film. Creepiest of all is this sentence that reads, This is my third room change. Electrical problems could explain problems from the first room, maybe the second, but three times is a bit much. Assuming the hotel staff checked the rooms for problems beforehand, which you think they would do, especially for a celebrity, then you have to wonder if the paranormal problem lies within her. It is possible that something within her is triggering paranormal activity while staying at a haunted hotel. I fear so. A YouTuber named The Inception of Yara Phoenix captures a scary moment on camera while exploring India. While doing some kind of construction work, a member of this crew holds a spike in place while another swings a heavy hammer a few feet from his head. The man is leaning away as far as he can, but with no helmet and no other kind of protection, not even a barrier to keep pedestrians from walking into him. It really does seem like a matter of time before something really scary happens. Take a listen for yourself. And he's one miss and you're the 
those are some heavy blows that there would be no recovering from if a mistake were to happen. I can only imagine how scary it would be to be working in that position, putting your life in the hands of somebody else who you probably barely know, hearing the sound of the hammer coming so close over and over again. This scary moment caught on tape is no doubt 100% real, and this is exactly what makes it so terrifying. A YouTube channel called Exploration Unknown is walking along the outskirts of Area 51 when they hear an aircraft fast approaching. I am blown. I hear something, but I can't see it. The sound crescendos to new heights as sound barriers break overhead. Yet strangely, they see absolutely nothing as it passes by. Just when the situation returns to normal, the unseen UFO makes a second pass, and this time they think they can make out its faint outline in the distance. Their camera doesn't really pick up any visuals though, or at least none that I can see, but maybe you can see what he's pointing out in the sky. That oh, that is it! Like I said, I personally don't see anything, but I can definitely hear it, which makes me wonder if this is some sort of advanced cloaking technology. After all, the sky is clear blue and a plane should be visible in this weather from almost any height. This deer is eating some corn when suddenly it looks up as if something is approaching. The camera jumps ahead and barely manages to catch this strange fleeting movement on the right side of the screen. This shadowy figure has everyone talking about the possibility of Slenderman who apparently has been rumored to be in this forest for years. It kind of looks like it might be wearing a business suit and has an all-white head completely devoid of all features, but it's hard to tell for sure. EVPs were captured through a live radio during a live stream by YouTube team Ghost Adventures of Cornwall, and these things are eerie. <laughs> See, who's that laughing? Who are you? I'm laughing again. Who are you? First the word heaven is heard, then the laughter. A moment later it says the words proper demon. Was that you? Proper demon? What? But here's where it gets truly creepy. Yeah. Skin and the nails? What? Skin and nails? Does this demon of Cornwall want your skin and nails? I think it does, and it might be taking your soul with them. YouTuber NM Ghost Hunter shares a series of videos in which he's documented the poltergeist activity happening in his home. Let's take a look. This first piece of footage occurred on February 5th, 2022. This happens for a full minute, while in another room this happens. In a second clip, captured on February 21st, the poltergeist strategically destroys his kitchen. In a third clip, captured on the 10th of August, the poltergeist was making a lot of noise in the garage, so the YouTuber grabbed his camera. This is what he captured. And this is the footage he captured on his handheld camera. Are you evil? Is that a yes or a no? If you're evil, flick the light again. Okay. 
for... After this, he went back inside but left one camera in the garage filming. It captured this. And lastly, on November 12th, he captured some activity near the living room, watched the bookshelf, Here it is from another angle. This all certainly looks alarming to me. I think this is more than enough evidence to call in the Ghostbusters. Sky trumpets are literally trumpet sounds in the sky, and they are more common than you'd think. There have been reports of them all over the world, including Sri Lanka where this video is from. What is going on? I personally think it sounds like a foghorn of a boat, which wouldn't be out of the ordinary since they live on an island and there's fog outside, but emergency vehicles all seem to be hurrying to the same place, so something big is definitely going on. As night settles in, the scary noises from above only seem to be getting louder and more urgent. This next part is definitely not a boat, more like scary noises from a giant creature if anything. I really want to know what these strange sounds are, so tell me what you hear. Especially if you are from the island, this video was taken on. This video of a mysterious creature was published to YouTube by Real Ghost Official 007 in December of 2019. The video, taken in the lot of a gas station, shows a slender, spindly limbed creature standing on two legs. It is momentarily caught by the headlights of a passing vehicle before it darts off out of sight. It looks somewhat similar to the creature in a TikTok video that's coming up on this list. Perhaps it's of the same mysterious breed. It makes sense to me, but I guess it could be something else altogether. Do you have any other explanations? It's enough to keep me indoors. There's a face in the wall. Can you see it? The eyes are wide and black, and the face is a little more than a tiny frown. Then, after one minute and five seconds, I think I see a hand appear. They say it looks like the face of a girl, but the youngest daughter swears up and down that she had nothing to do with it. She wasn't there last She never went. She never went, no. And when, just for fun, they ask the face on the wall if it is the spirit of someone young or old, they get a weird response. Um, but put a, a light if you're younger. <gasps> so is this really a spirit or just an imprint left behind of a child who stuck their face against a dirty wall? Two friends hear something large running across the roof of their home, so one grabs a camera and bravely heads into the night. He scans the rooftop with his flashlight and the beam floats across the oversized pink head of a wild creature that has no fur. Wait a minute. Hey! He climbs onto the roof to get a better look at the creature, but when he gets up there, it's gone. Little does he know that it is stalking him from an unseen vantage point the entire time. Where'd it go? The crouching humanoid looks to be half the size of a normal person. It regards him with cold, beady eyes that are low and close together like those of a wild animal. 
Zoom in and you'll see that this is either CGI or a real creature. The skin is way too tight to be a mask. Many say that this is the rake, a pale, mythological creature that attacks without warning. Let me know what you think this is, and if this person was moments away from being a goner. Their zealous ideal underscore art 8526 is wondering, what the? Watch behind the baby gate. Something semi-transparent and pale slowly appears. It morphs and changes shape, then it simply vanishes. Although it's quite obscure, it looks like a figure of some kind, but definitely not a human. The video has been slowed down. While I agree that it could be the light from a passing car obscured through a window in the next room, the form it takes is surely creepy. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.